Now each balloon is in place, I'm going to very gently cover the whole thing with the Mod Podge. Hi guys, it's Jamie here and I've got a really simple little masterboard project for you today. I've already pre-torn some book pages so that there are no mar margins or very few margins and gaps showing. I have the second part of the flyer that I used the other day and I've folded it to, that's not a third, maybe a quarter. And this side, I will be just popping down using Mod Podge. You can use whatever glue you want. Some of these book pages to cover that base. Covering this with the Mod Podge, grabbing a book page and grab a tool with a flat edge. It can be a piece of cardboard. It doesn't have to be plastic. Smooth it all down can seal over that line because we'll be sealing across the whole lot. Overlap it slightly and smooth it down and keep going till this is covered. Once you've got this covered you're just going to grab the Mod Podge and do a top layer. This just seals the paper which means if you do want to do art treatments to the top you are going to be in a good position to do so it will makes the paper less absorbent so it's not going to just suck up any color or anything you do to the top this part is actually the turn up for the pockets i'm going to put some book pages on here as the base as well i want them to still face the same way so now i know which way that is and i have my line i can just glue using the same technique pages all along this bottom part and trim off the excess. I wanted to keep what I'm doing to this, these masterboard pockets fairly straightforward. I have here some paper napkin that has these steampunk looking balloons. And before I tear them apart and reveal all the different layers, which I will show you in a minute, I am going to cut just the balloons out. It doesn't have to be perfectly done, so it's not fussy cutting as such. So here are the little balloons all cut out. Pull away these spare layers, and there's three. When you put it down, obviously this one, bit of the balloon's missing, so we wanna line it up to the top and then cover it over with a top layer of Mod Podge. Now each balloon is in place, I'm going to very gently cover the whole thing with the Mod Podge and let that dry. It's taken a while, but I'm back. I had to change my nails because I did some turmeric roasted cauliflower earlier and that stained my nails, my fingers, everything. I've also cut up the masterboard and I've decided that, well, maybe we will decorate the pocket aspect to divide it from the top. But for the time being, I've got some pages out from what will be the Sherlock Holmes journal. And just looking at how we can do this. And I've got these existing papers, for example, and we could matte and layer it completely because the paper is actually quite interesting i think you want to kind of layer it maybe at an angle i do actually have a really slim pocket and i might use this one because i love this so that we keep most of that. We'll angle this one off and I might stain the edges before we put it down. This is vintage photo. I'm going to seal this down as a pocket. Work along the back here. I'm not doing any extra tuck spots or anything like that. So cute. And then with this one, it already has some detail on the back there. So I think I want to put something on the front. 
you could leave it with that or again we have some things this says top secret here i wonder if you can get that to show this time let's round some things off let's go with seven a notch this time and we could do a side loading pocket as well we need to do the pockets again and this time we're just going to glue along that edge that edge and that edge because we're leaving that as a second pocket those will be left as they are to go potentially into another project i've got a really really simple little saying that i think because this is such a complex background completes the look i've edged it with black ink and i'm just gonna pop them down if you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up it's a free way to support and help this channel as is subscribing to the channel i upload currently five to six times a week so there's always new content and let me know what you think of these very quick little masterboard pockets in the comments below and i will see you next time